You remember why I went out anyways? Yeah. For Rosencrantz and Guildenstern. And I found this note, and I had to go back and read what my not real father said. <laughs> Yeah, bro, read this. Boys, I sat down and I changed it. Oh! Oh, guess what I wrote? What? I told him to kill Rosencrantz and Guildenstern instead. Oh! It was the fight, and you know the rest. Rosencrantz and Guildenstern have died? Yeah, but they loved what they did, so they practically killed themselves. Oh! Your mom knows how to pick him, doesn't she? Oh? To me, he killed my father, he seduced my mother, he came between me and my success, and then he tried to kill me. Shouldn't I try and kill him? Well, isn't Claudius going to find out about Rose and Crayons and Gildenstein, though? Yeah, it doesn't take much to end a bro's life. I'm sorry I lost control of Laertes. I just see myself in him. I will make it up to him, though. It just makes me mad when he shows off his emotions. Who are you? <laughs> Welcome to Denmark High! <laughs> Thanks. Do you even know him? Nah, oh, man. Makes bank pot. Anyone that rich is welcome at my not real father's house. Eh. He's lard, but he owns a lot of paper, so he's respectable. Hey! If you have any time, I have a message from your dad. I'm oh, my real dad! Ugh! What could he possibly want? Put your hat on. No thanks. It's really hot out today. Really? It's cold. Take my word for it. It is rather chilly. From my point of view, I mean, kind of bad for my skin. Yeah, humid. I can't tell you how humid it is. Anyway, your father, I meant not real dad, he just wanted me to tell you that he placed a bet on you. And this is what it's all about. Put your hat oh, on. Oh, please. Oh, no thanks. There's a guy named Laertes, and he's really cool. Honestly, he's a nice guy, and he's pretty cool. He knows a lot of people, is talented, and he's just a great connection to have. But it would be so hard to name all of his qualities. You know, he's so multi-talented. I know he's pretty awesome, but the only person that would come close to him is his own shadow. That's so good of him! <laughs> are you a fan too? So why are we even talking about him? I know you know something! Thanks, I'm happy you know that, but it doesn't say much. Continue. You don't know Laertes' excellence like I do! Don't, but since you have to compare how awesome he is to me... Laertes is excellent at boxing. He's unbeatable. No one's even in his league. The king has wagered six Lamborghinis, six set of boxing gloves, and three limos that are super nice. <laughs> and so high. Other has wagered that Laertes won't score three higher than you. But Laertes, he wagered that he'll score nine hits out of twelve. If you answer now, you'll get a head start. <laughs> lift and think about my emotional state. And if he wants to play afterwards, I'll play. What do I have to lose? Pride, I guess. So tell your dad or no! Alright, thanks! I got your back, Hamlet! He talks so great about himself, because nobody else will. He's so typical in these trashy times. He's memorized enough fancy phrases and trendy opinions to carry him through. So your dad heard that you were willing to compete and he wanted to know if you were willing compete now. Sure, whatever. And the, Gertrude wants you to uh, chat with Laertes politely before your match. She's so great at giving advice. Man, I think you're going to lose. No way. I've been practicing ever since I went to France High. And even if I did, what does it matter? If something's telling you not to box, just tell me. And I'll just say you're not feeling well. Don't believe in superstition. God controls everything, even death. Everything happens for a reason. If it was supposed to happen now, then it would. If it was supposed to happen later, then it won't happen now. What's important is to be prepared. Since nobody knows anything that he's supposed to leave for this world, what does it matter if he leaves early? Just leave me alone, man. Hamlet, come and shake Laertes' hand. Hamlet, come and shake Laertes' hand. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sure you've heard by now. I have a severe mental illness. And when I insulted you earlier, it wasn't me. It was Hamlet's illness. Just like if I were to throw a football over a house and hit my brother, it wouldn't be my fault. But I cannot forgive you now, for you drove my sister to her death, and literally killed my father. Thanks, bro. Can you just get us the love so we can start this round? I'm gonna make you look so good, I'm terrible. You're gonna look like the brightest star in the darkest night. You're making fun of me. No, really. Osric, get the gloves. Do you know the betting? Yeah, and you bet on the weaker box. I'm not worried. I've seen you both box. He has to get three hits on you. These are too heavy! Get me another pair! 
Put the wine on the table, and if all else fails, we'll drink to Hamlet's health. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight and one night only we have weighing 160 pounds, Larry <laughs> And in the other corner we have 155 pounds, Harry Amber! Clean fight! Come on, now you come on. One. No! no, no. Referee! Oh man, Larry, he's hitting you. Again. Wait, let's drink to him myself. Give this to him. I'll drink after this round. Just give me a sec. Come on. It's another one, right? Yes, you got me. He's so gonna win. He's not the fittest, and he looks out of breath. Here, baby, take my cloth and wipe your sweat off. I'm drinking to your luck, Hamlet! No, Gertrude! <laughs> not gonna tell me what I can and can't drink! Damn it. I'm not thirsty yet! Let me wipe your face for you, Hamlet! Now. No. I don't know. You're ready for your third hit, Larry T's. Quit treating me like a child. It's about to go down. By the way, you guys are tied. I love you, Larry T's. Separate them! No! Hit me again! Hamlet, stop! Your mom! Larry D's no! I have killed myself. Karma! Her what happened to mom? She just can't handle the sight of blood. No, no, Hamlet! It's the drink! It's been poisoned! I never liked you anyway. Son of a Lock the doors! Who did this? You're dead. No medicine or world can cure you. You have maybe half an hour left. The glove is dipped in poison. My plan backfired. Oh, and by your way, your mom's dying. She was poisoned as Claudius. The glove was poisoned too? Is this your drink? Here you goddamn incest breeding Danish murderer, drink it! Is your little pill in it? You'll die with her! He got what he deserved. He mixed the poisons himself. Hamlet, you are not responsible for my death or my father's, and I am not responsible for yours. I'm dying. Goodbye, Mom. I'm just about dead. You're alive. Tell them my full story. Never! I'm more of Roman height than Dane height. Mm, there's a sip left. Let go. I look like a fool if the full story wasn't told. If you ever loved me, you would commit suicide. Suffer the world's pain to tell my story. What's that noise? More surprise return from pulling high. Dying, Horatio. The poison is overcoming. I won't live to hear the news from England time. But I bet Fort and Ross will win the class president. Uh, Bros, get Hamlet. He would have been a great popular guy if he had the chance to prove himself. Backstreet Boys will speak for, for his respectful qualities. Clean these dead people up. A sight like this is for a throwdown. But here, it shows that much more went down. Go outside and tell the boys to fire their guns in honor of Hamlet.